In the alternative anime timeline, at the end of glorification, Lelouch died as the final part of the Zero Requiem. The world would enter into a state of peace called the Koa Period, or the Miraculous Tomorrow. That peace would be shattered in the Lelouch of the Resurrection when Zilkstan kidnapped Nully and Suzaku. Britannia sent a small team to Zilkstan to investigate. This team of Colin, Sayako, and Lloyd met up with C2 and Lelouch. C2 worked with them to revive Lelouch and rescue Suzaku. With his restored mind, Lelouch worked with the new Black Knights to rescue Nully and stop Shamna's plan to expand her power. A year later, during year three of the co-op period, and where Rosa of the Recapture comes in, Norlin von Lundberg established the Neo-Britannian Empire alongside Cheris Al Britannia, who became the 100th Emperor. Lelouch was the 99th Emperor, and after his reign, the Holy Empire of Britannia became the Principality of Britannia. Nully couldn't become the Empress since the Empire no longer existed. Therefore, Cheris took the spot since he's one of Charles' children. What isn't clear is where Neo-Britannia is located. Did they form in Japan by taking over the Hokkaido block? Or do they exist in the US and some of their forces are occupying the Hokkaido block? Who knows? What I do know is that the Neo-Britannians killed Sakuya's father, Emperor Jugo, and took Sakya, his daughter, as prisoner. There are some parts about this that are confusing, including what the title of Emperor actually means in this context. Is it an official title for someone who rules over an area of Japan or just ceremonial. Gembu was the Prime Minister, not Emperor of Japan, so I assume that these older titles were phased out. Anyways, to ensure their rule of the Hokkaido block, Neo-Britannia established their own knight order called the Einberg. It consists of 11 members. Six belong to the Vice Reiters, who are good at strategy, and the remaining five belong to the Schwarzseiter, who are good at, quote, practical battles. These 11 members all seem to have their own custom nightmare frames, are positioned like chess pieces, have their own territory, and knights under their control. I assume territory means a location within the Hokkaido block. Known members of the Einberg includes Nala, who pilots the Queen Asura, Catherine, who pilots the Queen Kraka, Walter, Stanley, Kristoff, who pilots the El Grips, Divok, who pilots the El Kamar, Arnold, who pilots the Valpner, Heath, who pilots the Fafnir, Gron, who pilots the Revirten, his brother Greed, and the leader of the Einberg, Norlon, who pilots the Falbout. Based on his description, it doesn't sound like Stanley is a nightmare frame pilot, more like an engineer probably the person who designed the new Nightmare Frames. Moving on, I don't know if they are connected, but in Resurrection, Cornelia and Guilford piloted versions of the Quinn Rose Model Z. And while it looks different in design, it does share the same name with these Nightmare Frames. Also, the foul bout resembles the verse in Getterex in the design. Obviously, it's much bulkier. Anyways, with the Einberg and a Legion of Soldiers, Neo-Britannia took over the Hokkaido block and still hold it four years later. Despite the Black Knight's best efforts, they can't defeat the Neo-Britannian army. This is due to the impregnable entry barrier called the Situm Pervaria? The Situm Pervaria. I don't know. Anyways, that's the name of it, and of course the Einberg itself. The barrier from the exclusive trailer looks like an improved version of the Blaze Luminous Shield. It's not clear what Neo-Britannia's goals are, or why they attacked Japan in the first place. But since they did, things have become desperate that the Nanashi mercenaries, Ash and his brother Rosa, are going to mount a rescue operation for Sakuya. They will be working with the Japanese resistance group called the Seven Stars. It's not clear if this group is associated with the Black Knights or if they are working together. And that's the new characters, nightmare frame, and story synopsis that was revealed on March 23rd. Now let's talk about the release dates and format. Japan is going to release this in four films in theaters. The dates are May 10th, June 7th, July 5th, and August 2nd. The US release is going to be different. Instead of films, we are going to get a 12 episode TV show. I assume they are going to split each film into three episodes. I know some of you are absolutely happy with that prospect. If you want to stream this legally, which I'm sure all of you will, Disney Plus will have the sole rights to stream it, which is infuriating to me, but that's just how it is. The ad showed Star, 
a hub on Disney Plus for content outside of the U.S. So my best guess is the series will stream on Hulu within the U.S. The next thing to talk about is the new cover for La Rosa of the Recapture. Let's go over all the characters and nightmare frames shown. The obvious ones include Rosa, Ash, Norlin, Sakuya, Catherine, Kristoff, the Z of Apollo, and the Foulbout. The others aren't as clear. I believe this is Nala. This must be the girl from that exclusive trailer, or the one from the first trailer. This appears to be Arnold, and the older man with medals is unknown, but the common consensus is that he is Jeremiah. One of the reasons why is the face design and, of course, the eyes. The problem is the man looks to be in his 40s, and Jeremiah will be 36 at this point. So it could work, but it is a bit of a stretch. Also, why isn't he wearing his face covering anymore? I suppose they'll have explanations either way if it turns out to be Jeremiah. Now let's talk about the last scene in the recent trailer where a Gios formed on the Rosa. Many have speculated this is due to his necklace. It has some connection to Gios, but we're not sure exactly what that connection is yet. Something to look forward to in the future. It's crazy that a project that seemed dead in the water is now only a few months from release. Let me know your thoughts on everything we learned from the March 2023 announcement. If you want more, check out my breakdown of the new Rosa Other Capture trailer right here.